Now the all important bit, the eye. I'm going to, before I actually complete the eye, I'm going to put the surround of the eye in. I'm just putting the highlights in so we don't forget them. Okay. Now, start off by putting the white in, uh, inevitably. Get the white in here. Once that's established, it also gives us a focal point where we can see what are the colours because it's so easy to go wrong and put the plate in the wrong place. Now we've put some ivory two and some ochre so we surround the eyes before we go into the darker colours. This is all going to be ivory through here. I don't want to go any further down than that. And down here. And just complete just that little section there which I've started and around here. You notice this little twiddly action again. It's such an important part of the pastel pencil. Right, okay, that's got now that's covered down the eye. Now we've got to start thinking now about what to put in down there. Now I think what I'll do is I'll use I can find the right colour. I'm going to use a little bit of 182 here. Now this is different to these markings. But the reason I've done that is because I'm going to put quite a lot of grey in here. And I know that this particular colour works really well with grey. So I'm going to put this in to start with. I'm going to put a little bit of that same colour I used on there on top of this. But it's the base that I think is most important there. Okay, that's fine. Good. And we do the same thing with the other eye. I'll complete these two eyes because it, it's not a long job, but it's a very important one, so you need to see as much as I can possibly show you. And then we've got that marking coming from there, around there. Okay. That's, uh, and once again, it's really important that you use sharp pencils for this. Now, the same colour I've used for that, I'm going to be using, as I have done all the way along for the Ochre oranges fur. And that will fill that in a little bit. Across there. And then down the other side. Good. Okay, so far. So good. Now, where's my other? This is the colour that I was using before. I'm going to put some... A little bit in there. And there is some in there, but not very much. Just a bit of smidgen. Whoop, wrong, wrong old coal. Now, it's dark there, but uh, it wasn't the right colour. A little bit there. Now, I need to sharpen this up because I need to go around there now. But, but just before I do that, I'm going to put some white and some ivory in the eye itself, just here. There's white there, and that's the lightest part of the eye. Like that. Well established. And then ivory over the remaining area. Now the problem is if you put too, too much dark on, you'd be picking up the dark and putting it back in the eye. So it's a good idea at this stage to get the the light in the eye in. Okay, now I'm going to sharpen my pencil and when I come back I'm going to put in the edge and the pupil. Now you can see the sort of point that I was looking looking for. Uh, I may well have to sharpen that before I go to the other eye. But with that point you can get really fine detail. Now his eyes wide open because he's coming out of very dark jungly atmosphere. So he's going to be suddenly caught unawares with a flashlight I imagine or flash of camera. His eyes are wide open. 
startled look. I'll pick up on that bit I made a mistake with earlier, just there. And just to make sure that it's uh, nice and tight, I'll just tighten it up with some white there. That looks good. Okay, and that comes down to there. Now this continues down to there. And a little bit of adjustment needed. A little bit of adjustment there. Now I'm going to put the pupils in. Um, I think I will sharpen that up. There we are now. I've got a very sharp point now. And go around the light in the eye. Now, however good you are at, at, at drawing, you're, you're never going to get these lines, these lines absolutely spot on accurate. So there's always going to be work you have to do. You've also got to make sure both eyes are looking in the right direction. And the way you do that is to put your finger over the eye like that and then quickly the other eye. And if they're looking in slightly different directions, which they are, that one's looking up, you see. And that one's looking slightly down. So we need to do just a little bit of adjustment to it to make it work. So look. Now that's pretty good. I don't think we'll worry about any more about that. That looks good. So there we've got it. We've got the, the structure of the eye. Now all we've got to do now is fill it in. All we've got to do, Colin. Well. The worst thing to do would be to put the black in at the moment, so before we actually develop the, the depth in the eye. Now the eye itself, I'm going to, I've got already put some ivory in there, so now I'm going to put ochre. But I want the top part of the eye much lighter, darker than the bottom part of the eye. I'll just make sure we've got that right. Yep. Very good. And the same thing on this side. Creeping up on it, see, making sure. See now I've lost that one there, just a little. I've got to come back up again. There. Key easy to do. And it's best to make the adjustments as you go along. Okay, so we've got the light at the bottom. Now we need to they're a little bit darker now. So I'm going to put in the colour that I've used here, here and here to darken it a bit more. That's good. And to that. Now that will do for the time being. What I now need to do is to bring some dark colour in these because that will determine then the next move. And again, sharp pencils. I've got a very sharp black here. Uh, we'll start off here. See how much control you have when you've got that sharp point. Even an eye as small as this will need quite a lot of adjustment to it before they're finished. Okay, now the, the important bit is the round there. What we do, the, the light in the eye was quite large compared with what it is now because you can then close in on it. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now the other side.
side. As you're thinking, God, he's quiet. Well, I'm concentrating, folks. Yes, it's a tricky, tricky one. Okay, now the, the eye itself. Once again, we close in on the, the light. That will go down there. I can do that later. But really now I've got to spend just a bit of time off camera just adjusting those eyes because I had to look although I'm looking at an angle well you're looking straight on but I'm looking at an angle so I need to come with a little bit more accuracy to that you know, and then I'll show you what I've done when I've finished it's much you need some more strength in there but I can actually do that now what we need to do is to darken it in here I'm using a 177 now, because it's a darker than the 283. And that needs to go in because it, again it's all it all has a bearing on on the, the finishing look to it. I can see immediately that that needs to be raised very, very slightly to the pupil. That's looking good. We're not far off folks but we've still got a bit of work to do so come back in a minute and I'll show you how that's turned out. Right that's nearly finished. Let's put a few little bit of orange now. This is the orange I was using in the back here, back of the fur and it's just a little bit of interesting colour. It's going all over. I put some in already up there going all over it just adds a sparkle to the picture just a touch that's it I think that's probably enough we'll add more as we go on but that's uh, the eyes done now we're going to move down here 